<laughs> Tom, I, and I, I've been around Todd before, and I know that energy is doesn't abate. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of cool stuff happening. Yeah. Yes, right. Tom, you've uh, worked with a lot with a lot with data, not just government data, in your career to date. From that perspective, what do you see as the good and bad in government data, and in the efforts of the Obama administration, such as Data.gov, to make uh, data more available and usable, and maybe compare that with what HHS is doing. Sure. Well, I think the administration deserves a, an immense amount of credit for setting the, the right norms around this question. You know, there's, there's still work to be done, but it's clear that efforts like what's happening at HHS um, represent an understanding that this data has been paid for, that it belongs to the public, and that it has value, you know, both economic and social value. We can get uh, a more vibrant economy, and we can get better policy outcomes if we open it up. Uh, information technology makes it possible to distribute this at, at basically zero cost, so we just need to get over that last hump of breaking down the silo and publishing it. Sometimes that means an upfront cost, but ultimately the benefits will be worth it. And I think that there's a broad understanding both within the administration and, and throughout all parts of government that this is the direction we need to be moving in. Uh, some of the most exciting work, I think, is happening at the agency level. You know, HHS is a great example. What they're doing is, is very exciting. You can see how excited Todd yeah. is, right? <laughs> um, you know, uh, Ed, uh, the SEC, they both deserve credit. Uh, other agencies have always been in the business of releasing data like Census or BLS or NOAA, uh, as the example goes. And um, although their systems are perhaps a little bit older because they've had to be around for so long and and uh, been releasing data over such a long period, they're now being uh, they're now receiving the attention they need to get updated for for modern technologies. Um, in terms of uh, sort of the the centralized effort to release this data, though, by the administration, I think that data.gov has been a rallying point, and uh, it's it's been useful from that perspective for agencies. Um, because in order to identify those high value data sets and publish them through this mechanism, uh, internal processes have had to be made to grapple with this question of open data. You know, the last panel addressed uh, exactly what a high value data set is being a problem. And I, I think that that is something that we're going to have to pay more attention to and formalize a bit further. But it's clear that data.gov has been useful to get this process started within agencies, to get uh, open data plans composed, and to get CIOs and CTOs thinking about this problem across the entire administration. Um, the value to the public of data.gov, I think, is more of an open question. Uh, as conceived, it's, it's a data catalog. And the, the analogy in my mind is sort of to the old yahoo.com. You know, back when the web was just taking off, you would go there, and the idea was that there would be this uh, hierarchical ordering of all the experiences you'd want to have on the web. And we all know that ultimately that lost out. Um, that isn't how people discover information on the web. They use search. Uh, in, the, in the same way, I'm not sure that a lot of people are faced with a, a problem and think, I need some data to solve this problem. They instead think about what the problem is. They think about what agencies might be working on it. And they go from there. They kind of figure out what the landscape is. So. Uh, Data.gov, I think, so far is fulfilling its promise as a useful tool for opening data from government, but I think that there's still work to do to figure out how it can be made maximally useful to the public and the research communities that ought to be engaging with it. Um, I think that in general, we're doing much, much better at releasing data that's already collected by government and by agencies about uh, private actors and about our society than we are at releasing data about government itself. And, mm. and there are a couple of reasons for this. One is that uh, the systems for gov the government uses to track its own activity are, are older in many cases. And the other, the other uh, factor is that there are stakeholders involved when these processes are created uh, who can get a seat at the table. You know, it's, it's easy enough to mandate disclosure from an industry. Um, they then just have to figure out how they're going to satisfy that disclosure requirement. Um, Within government, if, if you start talking about, well, we're going to put the budget in a structured format, or we're going to track treasury outlays, um, both of those are disclosure requirements are rapidly going to be turned into uh, processes that satisfy the political incentives of the people in charge of those systems. And that's, in fact, what we see, that there's no way to map from the budget to the, the checks that treasury cuts. It's just impossible. Um, and the reason for that is, is this, this tangle of incentives. Um, there are a lot more examples like this, too, where I think that government needs to do a better job of tracking data about government. Uh, just last week, Sunlight had an opportunity to participate in a hearing 
um, related to our uh, clear spending project, which is an analysis of the spending data on usaspending.gov. And this, I think, is, is an example that's um, emblematic of a, a, lot of the, a lot of the tension and problems that we see. Um, to put it bluntly, the data on usaspending.gov is not good. Uh, we ran an analysis of it, comparing it to one of the few uh, points of reference that we could find, uh, where it was an apples to apples comparison. And we found uh, in 2009 over a trillion dollars of spending that had failed to be reported or that had been improperly reported. Uh, that's, that's a huge problem. And uh, what the government will tell you is that, uh, in fact, the internal systems used at agencies are, are just fine. Um, the systems that Treasury uses are, are just fine, and the budget is really where these decisions are made anyway. But this important data set that's used for both oversight and for uh, uh, both within government and by the public is, is really not good enough to be used. Now, I think that there are efforts underway to correct that problem, but it's a good example of how there's been a lot of excitement around usaspending.gov. I think we've gone through three redesigns since I've been at Sunlight of that site. The data's been unusable since the 70s, though. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah. it, it's time to, to readdress that. Similarly, you know, the, the systems that we use to track tax expenditures are, are even worse. And in fact, nobody even bothers to go back and check whether the estimates that are issued are correct after the numbers come into the IRS. Um, and the two systems that are independently used to track it are never reconciled with one another. Um, legislative information. Uh, it's still, unfortunately, a rite of passage for technologists like myself to write a scraper for Thomas, the legislative information system uh, used by the House and Senate. It, it really shouldn't be that way. Uh, at this point, Thomas is making uh, positive improvements, but it's still very difficult to work with, and um, we never have access to the source data. It's, it's infuriating, actually. We want the XML files that uh, are the uh, uh, sort of baseline ingredients used to draft legislation. We can see the XML file name in the PDFs they release, but we can't get the XML files, just oh, wow. these unusable PDFs. Ah. Um, I guess the final point I would make is that I, I think that uh, an important step uh, or sorry, let me one more step back. I want to make okay. sure I take care of all branches yeah. of government. Uh, the judiciary also. We, we, oh, okay. Pacer. Uh, so all oh, you need yes. to do is Google Pacer and recap and see just how bad this problem is. Um, it's it's another example of the government not taking its own uh, data responsibility seriously. What it collects, it's it's getting very good at distributing, and that is to be applauded. But we need to take a look at these older systems, make sure that they're actually working right and uh, think about serious reform in the cases where they reflect old pathologies or bureaucracies that just aren't relevant anymore. Um, and finally, I'd say that uh, an important step to achieving that will be for the administration to commit its agencies to actually conducting a thorough audit of the data that they collect. Yeah. Until we do that, it's not going to be possible to talk about what's a high-value data set or not. Thank you.